You may have heard of it called adrenal fatigue. It is very debilitating. And it strikes women most often. Now, but before we get there, because from getting ready, this will be the last uh, one before we get into the, uh, the hands-on. Regrowing flesh. Did you know there was an herb that can regrow flesh? Two 10-year-old boys were playing with machete, with machetes, matches, and gasoline. <laughs> when the gas burst into flame, both boys were severely burned. The surgeon at the hospital said that the hands would either have to be amputated at the wrist and iron claws attached to both arms, or the boys could endure several years of painful skin graft surgeries. After years of surgery, the boys would have nothing better than mummified claws which could never move like fingers. One set of parents told the surgeon to begin operations. The other set of parents took their child to Dr. Christopher. Dr. Christopher was a popular naturopathic doctor. Uh, he cringed at the badly scarred skin, tendons, muscles, and nerves. He gave the parents a salve made of comfrey, honey, and wheat germ oil. We're going to make it on the hands-on, that salve. So you'll know how to make it for yourself. He told the parents to keep a thick layer of this burn ointment on the area. Within a week, the parents took their son to see the surgeon, who was dumbfounded. The burns had healed from third degree to first degree in one week. What on earth have you been using, he asked. The parents just said, oh, an old-fashioned remedy. Whatever it is, keep on using it. I don't think there's need for surgery now. I can't believe it. But these hands are going to heal without scar tissue. A year after the burn, the first boy remained in the hospital. The parents had invested hundreds of thousands of dollars on the surgery and skin grafting, but the boy ended up with stiff, unbending claws that the boy hid with gloves. The other boy, whose parents had applied the herbal salve, healed completely. The tendons, nerve, muscles, and flesh were all renewed with no scar tissue. 